Welcome back to Tech Rants. My name is Q, and this is my third time third time trying to shoot this video. Uh, today, we're going to be giving you my AT&T 10-day impressions. Uh, yeah, I've been using AT&T for about 10 days now, and I'm going to tell you what I think about it so far. And, you know, I'm going to tell you how my experience has been with coverage. We'll go talk about a little pricing and you know, just go over everything a little bit. This is not going to be my full review. Uh, I won't be able to give a full review until after I get all the weird billing situations situ uh, situated. And once I get a normal bill or two, which probably be about two or three months, then I'll be able to say, OK, this is good or this is bad or whatever. But anyway, uh, before we get started, if you like the content, please consider leaving a like on the video. Comment down below what you guys think. Subscribe, share, tell your friends all that good stuff. And if you really, really enjoy the content, please consider making a donation via Cash App at dollar sign The Tech Ranch Show. That's dollar sign T H E T E C H R A N T S S H O W. Donations are never required, but are greatly appreciated. Donations help me bring better content to the channel and more reviews, such as an unboxing that I have coming this week. So just want to let you guys know there will be an unboxing between tomorrow and Thursday. Um, the sooner I get it, the sooner I get up, get upload it, unbox it, and tell you guys what I think. But I found this thing at a, at a really good price, so I bought it, and we're going to see how it is. But anyway, so I uh, just want to let you guys know, uh, I in the last 10 years, I have been with Sprint twice, T-Mobile three times, Verizon four times, AT&T twice. So I've been, I've been around. So I got a good idea of who does what good. Uh, and briefly, you know, I, I might make a video about that. But briefly, what I'll say is T-Mobile has customer service down pat 100 percent. Verizon may be second. AT&T is. Yeah. But the, 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 so there's that. Um, Verizon has more coverage. Not the best. I mean, not the best speeds, but more coverage. And AT&T, uh, they have the they kind of got that middle ground between coverage and speed. But. Either way, go. Uh, so let's talk about this. So let me start off by saying <clears throat> I loved AT and T. I mean, I love T Mobile. T Mobile was a is a good. They're they're not a bad carrier. Besides the fact that you know I bashed them, they're hacking and all that stuff. It, it, if they could get that under control, T Mobile will actually be a solid carrier. That's that's just a fact. Now my problem stints with a, a T Mobile. They don't have the best coverage. But they have the best speeds. Their coverage has gotten better, you know, and they're so focused on 5G. I think they need to focus on dead zones and things will be a lot better. But they're not. So it is what it is. So AT and t so T-Mobile has the fastest speeds, best customer service. I really do like them. Verizon has the most coverage, not the best speeds. Uh, AT&T, some of the best coverage, some of the best speeds. Kind of get that barrier of both. So, but I didn't been with everybody. So switching from T-Mobile to AT&T. So let me just talk about my switching process. My switching process was a little cumbersome because I had to go through a fight with T-Mobile to get my numbers released. But once I got it done, it was easy as, you know, it was very easy. Uh, you know, I gave, I got the iPhone 14 Pro Max, as you guys know, which is right here. Got the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which that's, first of all, let me say this. I made a video about my iPhone 14 Pro Max impressions uh one week this phone has just been doing it like and the battery life has just gotten better the battery life i went to bed last night uh i was gone all day yesterday uh bingo's lost whatever kind of sad about that but uh <laughs> i was gone all day yesterday i've been i was gone since 12 o'clock yesterday afternoon did come home to about 11 o'clock at night this by the time I got home, and I've been using, I was taking pictures and everything. By the time I got home, the battery was was down only to seventy eight percent. When I went to bed, I used it quite a bit last night on social media. You know, talk trash. I was talking on the phone for a little bit. Uh, this battery, it was only at sixty percent by the time I went to bed. So the battery life on this phone is, it, I can't kill it. I can't kill it. The lowest I've ever gotten it down to, and that was with some extreme. I was trying to kill the battery on purpose. I got it down to probably 35%. Yeah, so I can't kill the 14 Pro Max. I just can't do that. But anyway, that's a story for another day. But anyway, AT&T. Um, so switching to AT&T was actually not that bad. Uh, you know, it was quite easy once everything was done. Ported my number over. They ran a credit check. Everything was good to go. So that, that part, you know, besides releasing my numbers from T-Mobile, that was, that was difficult. But it is what it is. So we did that. Next, I uh, want to talk about um, the pricing. The pricing is a little, 
it's middle of the road. It's definitely middle of the road. It's not quite as expensive as Verizon. Uh, well, actually, Verizon, if you get the Welcome Unlimited for four lines, 400 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, I can't go to Verizon for some personal reasons, but, I, you know, it is what it is. But the thing is, you know, you, you switch to Verizon. Um, it is, you know, four lines, 400 bucks, but it's Welcome Unlimited. But it's you don't get the access to their... 5G uh, UW, the ultra wideband. Uh, at least with, I have the unlimited starter with AT&T, which is their cheapest plan is 65 bucks, which actually, if you're on a single line, it's five bucks cheaper than Verizon, five bucks more than T-Mobile. But I do get access to AT&T's 5G plus. So that definitely is a plus. <laughs> uh, 5G plus definitely is a plus. Anyway, but, um, so that takes care of that. So 65 bucks for two, for one line, 60 for uh, 60 each for two um i think it's like 45 for three each 45 line for 45 each for each line and then 35 for four lines so not bad not it's kind of middle of the road um so that's kind of middle of the road not the cheapest but definitely not the most expensive all right so that that takes care of that um, so the pricing is middle of the road, but they're about the same. Um, they're definitely about the same with T-Mobile. As far as the, the cheapest unlimited plan, their middle of the road is a little bit more than T-Mobile, but their the pricing for T-Mobile, T-Mobile Magenta Max and AT&T Unlimited Premium, uh, they're about the same price, but AT&T, you do have to factor in taxes and fees. Um, I do also say AT&T offers more ways to get a discount. I mean, T-Mobile you can get discounts through certain certain ways, but AT&T, definitely, I think you have a better chance. Plus, what I do like about AT&T that T-Mobile does not do for their postpaid customers, AT&T actually accepts the Affordable Connectivity Program, so you can take $30 off of that. So one line with uh, AT&T, unlimited uh, starter, will only cost you 35 bucks a month. So that's not bad uh, you know, for a company that offers kind of the mid-range of coverage and speed. So we'll say that. Um, so let's talk about coverage. Uh, coverage is definitely, I've noticed uh, some improvements. I don't get any dropped calls. I don't notice many dead zones. I've, I've been definitely noticing the signal is a little bit reliable and I can't, uh, I'll be able to tell you guys within a matter of a week or so. I can't tell if it's just because the iPhone 14 pro max, which has a stronger antenna and a stronger modem than the iPhone 13, or if it is just AT&T. But so far, AT&T has been managed to hold a signal. The call quality has been great. Uh, I've actually used uh, regular. I don't. I haven't really needed to use Wi-Fi calling. I have Wi-Fi calling on at the house, um, and I haven't noticed any major issues. But I've turned off Wi-Fi calling, and the signal seems to be holding up fairly well. So I've got to say that. So, I, but yeah, I do use Wi-Fi calling when I'm at the house. Not that I really need to, because like I said, I'm noticing the coverage. It's definitely the call quality is definitely holding along hold on a lot better. Uh speeds, the upload speeds are pretty much they're better than T Mobile, definitely when I'm inside the house. And where I live, ATT has a stronger blanket uh for coverage. And then it's T Mobile and then it's Verizon. So ATT definitely has a strong footprint where I live. Uh, but I went, I was actually somewhere a couple days ago where I knew I didn't get signal. I, I got fairly good good signal with T Mobile. Uh, I was actually in Kroger, and in Kroger, I get maybe one bar of signal with T-Mobile. I can make phone calls, but signal's a little choppy, but when I was in there with AT&T a couple of days ago, I, I got three out of four bars, and the speeds were just crazy because I was right, I guess I was right there by 5G uh, MM Wave Tower. It, it was it was interesting. It was, it was fun. So uh, AT&T, definitely their coverage holds up a little stronger. Speeds, probably not the best, but their upload speeds in my personal opinion, are definitely better than T-Mobile, but their download speeds are probably right there. So I got to give them props uh, for that. Um, overall coverage. Uh, so yeah, coverage, not that bad. Uh, you know, like I said, it's that middle of the road. It's not, it's definitely more than AT, more than Verizon, um, more than T-Mobile, not as much as Verizon, but more speed than Verizon, but not as much as T-Mobile. So if that makes sense. Um, customer service. T-Mobile takes the cake on customer service. T-Mobile has the best customer service in the game. Verizon is second. 
AT and T. I've I've had a couple experiences with customer service, just like, eh. but for the most part, anybody I talked to, it was nice. You know, they were they were friendly. They got it done. Um, and yeah, I will miss T Mobile's twenty four hour customer service. Well, or well, at least till one or two o'clock in the morning. But AT and T, anytime I've had an issue so far, they've been able to resolve my issues. I do need to call customer service today about something and to see uh, how they're going to handle a situation. But other than that, it's pretty good. I got to say, uh, AT&T customer service has been pretty good. I uh, can't really complain. Yeah, like I said, it's it's hit or miss, but uh, they have resolved some of my issues that I've had. Um, and, you know, they, they were they were pretty good. I've had a couple that were like, yeah, but, you know, that's that's anywhere. You know, you're always going to get a bad apple, you know, out of, out of, yeah, out of a few. So it is what it is. So customer service is a hit or miss, uh, you know, but you know, I will get definitely let you guys know how things go as I continue to use the service. Now, this is where AT&T, I don't care how you try to word it. I don't care what your reasoning behind it is. One thing you cannot dispute AT&T on at the moment, you cannot dispute them on deals on phones. So my iPhone 14 Pro Max, $1,100 phone, gave them my iPhone 13. Now I haven't seen the credits roll in yet, so I I'm, I'm hope I'm not speaking out of turn. But on right now, on paper, AT&T has the best prices for new devices. I give them my iPhone 13, as long as your device is valued up to two, uh, minimum $230 and up, they will go ahead and give you $1,000 off. Of your phone now that has changed because before it was 800 for the holidays, which $800 off is not bad. You know, you can get a 14 for free, 14 plus for you know, 14 Pro Max would only cost you 300 bucks. So, but this is for all new and existing customers, and it does not matter which ATT unlimited plan you want. You have to be on an unlimited plan, but it does not matter which unlimited plan you are on. Everybody, you give them your old phone as long as it's worthy. There you go thousand bucks or eight hundred dollars whatever they have so i've got to say that's the best deal versus t-mobile you have to be on magenta max in order to get a thousand dollars off or eight hundred dollars off whatever it is you you have to be on magenta max and verizon you have to be on one of their premium plans as well so at&t definitely does it right in that retrospect and then sometimes they have deals so right now like if i added a line i get the iphone 13 for five bucks a month not bad i get the 13 mini for a dollar i get the ipad 2021 for half off as well so it's a lot of deals they definitely have a lot of deals and i like the fact that they offer it to new and existing customers and they don't require you be on their top tier unlimited plan so i definitely have to respect at&t uh for that and that that yeah, that's just something you can't dispute like i don't care how you word it you don't care what your reason behind t-mobile requiring you to be on magenta max and all this no i'm sorry uh, this is just, this is the best deal that, you know, this, this, this is it. This is how you do wireless, at least with that. And I hope AT&T, uh, continues to do that because I think that is a good selling point. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're stuck with the phone for 36 months, but I pay the extra six bucks a month because it is what it is. I'm practically getting the phone for free. Charge me at the extra six bucks to upgrade my phone after 18 months. And it is what it is. So. But overall, AT&T, how has it been so far? It's been pretty good. Um, so far, so good. Like I said, I, I I won't. This is not my full review. This is just how it's been for the past ten days. Full review. Maybe I can give it to you next month. Maybe I can give it to you. I would I would keep you guys updated. And if anything bad happens, I will let you know. If something amazing happens with AT&T, I will let you know that as well. But right now. So far, so good. Getting good coverage, getting good speeds. Not the best, but definitely better than more coverage than T-Mobile. Customer service is hit or miss, but you cannot dispute AT&T's deals on phones. It just there's there's just no way. So overall, right now they have a B plus, maybe a B minus. A couple things they got to work out, but other than that, AT&T. So far, so good. So stay tuned for more videos. Let me know in the comments what carrier do you have. I don't care if it's postpaid, prepaid. I don't care if I've never heard of it. Let me know what, uh, oh, what carrier you guys have. Subscribe, share, tell your friends all that good stuff. And cash app information will be in the beginning of the video and will be in the description box below. Catch you guys on the next one. Please be safe. Please be blessed.
Later. Peace.